Hi, welcome to my channel everybody. Today I am going to talk about uh, um, uh, the DD15 engine that was having problems and um, here we have it. This is a 2020 um, Cascadia with a DD15 engine and uh, it is kind of funny to see 125 body, the P3 body style on a 2020 chassis uh, but this is one of those a 2020 with 100 I believe uh, 100,000 miles or so uh, let me see if the battery is connected uh, I don't think the battery is connected because we're working on the yeah we don't see it but it has like 1,000 uh, 100,000 miles oh there yeah it is connected the yeah, lights are on yeah, see, uh, 100,000, 113,000 miles. Pretty low mileage for a 2020, uh, because we are in 2024. As I speak right now, uh, uh, about to be March uh, 2024. So uh, the problem is then we were having the code that says uh, the crankshaft and the crankshaft sensor are not matching. And um, the situation was when the engine was cranking you crank the engine no star uh, the customer said that he was using a starting fluid to start the vehicle to, to start the engine and the engine start but uh, it died eventually because there was no ignition at all there was not uh, any type of fire going on so the computer couldn't hold the engine on idle and immediately after the uh, starting fluid was uh, completely uh, en uh, out of uh, a supplier to the engine and the engine died immediately so uh, today we want to talk about that so for that for that reason we, we have uh, the transmission out because the timing on these uh, engines is on the rear area and the problem that happened to this uh, engine isn't a problem it happened then a job was done uh, uh, really bad uh, someone did a clutch replacement job and didn't do it right and uh, that's the reason why we had to remove the, uh, the transmission and investigate the problem so uh, here, here we will have the problem so the problem is then the flywheel wasn't aligned correctly on the timing mark so the crankshaft is going to have a specific mark where the flywheel is going to align and if the flywheel isn't aligned to that mark the, uh, the engine immediately um, is going to uh, detect by the sensors the computer is going to detect by the sensors then the timing is incorrect and then the engine won't be able to fire up because the thing uh, the thing is like the engine thinks then uh, the engine is out of timing so to prevent major damage to the engine the engine won't uh, fire the cylinders and that way it will prevent any serious problems with the engine like piston damage a cylinder help uh, ball damage and, and other problems just similar to that so uh, as I uh, can show you right now, I mean the the transmission is about to be mounted. We have it. Uh, we have it to a point, and uh, we can just mount it right now uh, because we fixed the problem. But here we have the flywheel right here on the side, and that's uh, one of the things that I need to show you. Um, they broke a ball. See, a ball is broken inside. That is not good. Uh, and this happens when you apply too much torque to the balls and you don't supposed to apply that much torque to this ball so it broke inside but this something thing is easy to fix that's not a big problem the problem is on the rear area uh, right here uh, we can see the damage right here see this is where the mark the timing mark was when the flywheel was removed and this is where it's supposed to be this is the pin where it aligns with the flywheel so this is a mistake that happens to many different mechanics over the time. I have seen it many times. Not, this is not the first time I have seen it. But this is the first time I see it too far away from there. Usually it is just one or, or, uh, or one to the right, one to the left. Usually it's like that. But in this case we have like one, two, three all the way here. So the engine um, was exactly out of timing. Usually when the mark is right here, so they... Um, apply the bolts and everything you know when you apply the truck to the bolts this is going to uh, a, um, uh, use the force to um, 
close the gap between the flywheel and the and the crankshaft so it's going to create this but if it's right here the engine will be able to start by one run it will start but it, it, it will die like it will start for a couple seconds maybe one minute and then it will die because the computer will notice and there is some anomaly with the timing of this engine but uh this is something that you guys have got to pay attention to and as it is the uh, flywheel is damaged but if you get this problem uh the flywheel uh, uh, mark it is a a pointer a little pin thing is there so that pin is completely destroyed so that if that happens to you uh, it's very hard to remove that pin um in some cases uh it, 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 removing uh the the rear uh a gear of the timing the, the rear crankshaft gear will be necessary but if you don't have the money or you don't have the time what you can do is just grind the, the pin down all the way and you still gonna be able to put the timing on as long as you make sure that this pin is right on the on the crankshaft mark and that is all it matters uh, uh, and once you get that out of the way and you put it in the right position the engine will start and you will have that problem again but uh i i think this is a very important uh problem then you guys got it uh double check whenever you guys are working on timing on these d15 engines uh i see a lot of people uh, doing mistakes with this d15 engine and that's completely normal that's acceptable because we all do mistakes i don't i don't think that is uh something that uh, we need to criticize um in the uh, in the contrary we need to learn from these mistakes uh, if if that happened then for any reason you are in a rush to uh, put uh, all the timing pieces together you have to double check even though then you're gonna lose some time or maybe the customer is gonna pay you later because if you you need the money now or something whatever or you are uh, or you are pushing your mechanic to do it just take it easy sometimes because if you uh, uh, rush it sometimes it can happen like this so so the customer paid around what like uh, five thousand dollars to do this clutch job because he's using the cheap clutch uh so now he's paying another uh five thousand dollars to fix this problem because we're replacing all the components that are broken now uh, and as it is now i see a couple things that we need to pay attention to and that is the see this bracket is broken see right here that's a dot compliance bracket so if dot finds it thing is broken they will uh, write, write it up to you they will give you hard time with it but that's something that you can fix pretty easy um, but other than that it is just like this is video here? this is your camion look do you fix the damage? yes it's the famous on tiktok eh? <laughs> and the other one? now yeah he is the customer and uh of course uh that is uh, a sad face because he has to pay a lot of money for this but anyway um this is all i have to talk about uh with about this uh specific problem that we're having on this uh dd15 engine and uh the easy way to prevent this problem is just by double checking everything and um if you happen to have this problem then the, the timing is not matching on your d15 engine this or thing also uh, you have to double check sensors you have to double check timing marks if the timing marks are okay double check sensors but uh first i think the first thing you have to do is double ch uh, double check timing marks you have to remove the valve cover and um open the little service uh, uh um plate then the bottom of the d15 engine has if you don't know what it is it, it's this one right here uh, let me see it is <coughs> that one right there that is the service plate that is the one then uh you need to uh open to get the timing uh uh, uh, uh right on the flywheel and then you have to t open the top area which is the valve cover to check the top crankshaft uh, timing so just um uh, uh, to give you an idea of what you have to do if you have this problem but that's it is uh, we're done with this video you have any questions comment below um, if you are new to the channel just double check and you subscribe and uh, if you you here you see my logo it's a truck thing we fix 
and this truck is having warranty, all consumption. So we're doing warranty on this truck. Uh, new parts for this customer. Uh, it happened in the, um, uh, the, f the piston rings started to consume oil and so we had to take care of that anyway. So, uh, see you later. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, informative videos for you and uh, anybody that wants to learn more. Thank you.